Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. We're going to go do another story on ancient America, and this comes from my home state of Minnesota. We are going down to Pelican Rapids, and this is a small town in northwestern Minnesota, pretty popular during the summertime. People escape into the lake from the Twin Cities. But if we back out here just to get a little orientation, here is Lake Superior, here is Duluth, here is Minneapolis-St. Paul, right down here. Here is Giant Lake Mille Lacs, Brainerd Lakes area right here, made famous, I guess, in the movie Fargo. And I guess the crappies were really biting up there, you know. Right down here, just north of Pelican Rapids, one of the more amazing finds from ancient America was made. But nothing is on YouTube about this, so this is perfect for my channel. I like making stories on stuff that nobody has covered before, but we are going to go down to... I think this is Highway 59 here. This is Highway 59. I'm sure this is a busy part of the world at this time of year in Minnesota. But there is a little rest area here with a little monument here. And let's go take a look at that and read a couple websites. But on the plaque here it says, Minnesota Woman. The skeleton of a girl about 15 years of age was discovered at this point, 1931, by a highway repair crew. Although the skeleton has not been dated exactly, based on the site geologically, scientists believe it to be perhaps 10,000 years old. This would make Minnesota woman one of America's oldest human skeletons. Two artifacts, a dagger of elk horns and a conch shell, were discovered with the bones. Archaeologists believe that the girl drowned in Glacial Lake Pelican, which adjoined Glacial Lake Agassiz, a huge body of water that covered much of northwestern Minnesota at the time of the last ice age and it also covered parts of North Dakota and southern Canada too. It was a massive lake but I find it interesting that they assume she drowned in this lake and was she a victim of some cataclysmic flood at the end of the last ice age? Well let's just do a little reading. But here is the area right in front of the current rest stop where the remains were found in 1931. And this was a discovery that kind of made headlines around the world at the time. But me, being from Minnesota, I'm surprised I had never really heard of this until last night. Or never really dug into this because this presents a few mysteries here. As construction workers were excavating a roadway along the eastern shore of Prairie Lake near Pelican Rapids in 1931, they uncovered one of the most exciting prehistoric finds in this region of North America, a human skeleton. The remains were found nine feet below the surface and encased in fine layers of clay, which had once been the bottom of a lake that predated Glacial Lake Agassiz. The state archaeologist was called in to exhume the bones and look for additional artifacts that would help identify and date the remains. At the time, the bones were determined to be that of a 15-year-old boy who died close to 20,000 years before. An unusual conch shell and elk antler knife were also found near the skeleton. For many scientists, the remains and artifacts were proof that prehistoric people inhabited this part of North America. Soon after the completion of the roadway, a plaque was placed at the site where the remains were found. It said, the remains of the Minnesota man of Pleistocene age were found at this road cut on June 16, 1931. In 1959, a wayside rest was established near the site and a new marker was placed there by the Minnesota Historical Society. But further study on the remains determined it to be a 15 to 16 year old young woman. Now on this website, and I will leave a few links below, it goes over a few more details here, but a few things that are worth bringing up and I think they are a big mystery. But it says, it was also determined that the remains were possibly up to eight and 10,000 years old. Further baffling scientists, who then in 1931 only believed that humans had arrived in North America 2,000 years ago. So that's how much progress we have made. The further we get on in history, just the farther history is pushed back based on what we find. I guess archaeologists kind of got here a little too late to do really good study. I guess some of the bones were wrapped in newspaper and sent off to be studied. So not only was it a mystery that this person was found at the bottom of sediments of a glacial lake here, also found with a dagger made of elk horn and a conch shell pendant, and this conch shell only came from Florida. 
So if we're talking eight to maybe nine or 10,000 years ago, maybe the window is of when this person was living here. How were they getting conch shells from Florida? Was there a trade system in ancient America that was so vast 8,000 years ago that it was no problem for somebody way up here off the beaten path and not too close to the main riverway systems, but certainly near the head of the Mississippi, that they got something all the way from Florida? Now, how, now how does that happen? And here is a group here just over 90 years ago, 1931, that made this original discovery. Now here is the New York Times from November 17th, 1932. Girl slain in Ice Age found in Minnesota lived 20,000 years ago. But it says here, the body was also covered in a layer of clamshells, adding further confusion and mystery to the discovery. And it was found with a layer of glacial lake sediment over it, clamshells included. So how old was this really? But it talks about current research and old research here on this website from the Fergus Falls Journal. She was first researched by Dr. Albert Jenks at the University of Minnesota, who claimed she was 17,000 years old, 15 years old, and she drowned in a lake. The lake would have existed during the Ice Age and has since frozen over into land that holds Highway 59 now. It says her find proved that humans had been in America for many thousands of years more than previously thought, but it says the most recent research by archaeologists at Hamlin University, and that's in St. Paul, in 1977 dated her to about 7,840 years old, but I will leave this link below, and people still looking into this think she might be much older. So she was found in a layer of glacial lake deposit. She had a dagger made out of elk's horn, and a decorative ornamental conch shell from Florida. Now let's just think about that. She seemed to be just a hunter, but she had ornamental conch shells from Florida with her. Those are two things that don't really jive. She wasn't buried ceremoniously. She obviously came to some sudden end at the bottom of a glacial lake. So let's just think about that. What could have possibly happened to this person? Who was it? How did she get the stuff from Florida, for God's sakes, all the way up in Minnesota? Now, we know trade routes existed during the Mound Builders Age, but 8,000 years ago, minimum? Well, that just opens up a lot of other mysteries. So that is the story of the Minnesota woman. Was she the victim of some Ice Age flood? Well, certain evidence points to that as being a possibility. But that is one of the earliest skeletons found. In America and I'm sure others older will be found as time goes on and as archaeologists open up their minds to an earlier history in North America. Graham Hancock's book, I'm almost through with it, maybe a book review of that coming up. Great book. Hope you thought that was cool. Minnesota woman, you all have a very nice day.